All right, you guys, today we have a really exciting tutorial where we're going to check out how to intertwine 3D text here in Illustrator inspired from Ian Barnard. And for the font, I'm going to go with the Humane Regular. Make sure to choose a thinner version, so this way you got enough room to intertwine the text. And of course, we're going to need two texts, so I'm going to press and hold Alt to drag it, duplicate, and rename it. I'm also going to go and recolor these. And first, I'm going to start with a Panther text. Let's go to the effect. 3D materials, let's go to 3D classic and select extrude and bevel classic. And the first thing I'm going to do is go here to the extrude depth and decrease it. So this way you can do like more complex intertwinings. I'm going to go with 13. And let's go to the rotation. The X axis is going to be 30. Next is going to be minus 16. And the Z rotation is going to be zero. So it's going to look something like this. Click OK. And let's go to the object, transform. And let's select shear. And here at the shear, all you need to do is just shear the angles. And I'm going to try it out with minus 10. Click OK. Now I'm going to select the vision text. Let's go back to effect, 3D materials, 3D classic, and select extrude and bevel classic again. Decrease the extrusion depth. I'm going to go again with 13. And at the X rotation, I'm going to go with 30 again. And the Y rotation is going to be 16. The Z is going to be 0. And it's going to look something like that. Click OK. Let's go back to Object, Transform, select Shear. And here I'm going to go and increase it all the way to plus 10. Click OK. All right, so now we got both texts. And all you need to do is just drag one of the texts and position it on the other one. And I also want the text with the vision to be on the bottom. So I'm going to select it, right click, arrange and select send to back. And I'm going to try to intertwine somewhere at this position. Let's go and select both. Let's go to object, intertwine and select make. And here all you need to do is just hover on the letters and click and check this out. This way it's going to intertwine it. It is pretty simple. And if you want to go back, click again and it's going to push it backwards. And take a look at that. I think it came out great. And pretty much this was it. Thanks for watching.